Welcome to First Christian Church Midweek Moment. We're, today the message is based on Matthew 7, verses 7 through 8. Ask and it will be given you. Search and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened for you. For everyone who asks receives and everyone who searches finds. And for everyone who knocks, the door will be open. You know, we all pray for things. We pray for healing. We pray for good health. We pray for a lot of things. And sometimes very specific things. But I'd like for you to think about how God answers our prayers. Sometimes it's not in the way that we expect it to be answered. I'm going to share a butterfly story, and I don't know who wrote the story, but it's always stuck with me. One day, a small opening appeared in a cocoon. A man sat and watched for the butterfly to come appear. It struggled to force its body through the small hole. Then it seems to stop making any progress. It appeared and it was not going to get any further. So the man decided he could help the butterfly. So he took out a pair of scissors and very carefully made the opening larger for the butterfly to finally emerge. But when it came out, it had a swollen body and small shriveled wings. The man continued to watch the butterfly, hoping to see that it turned into the beautiful creature that he was expecting. But the wings didn't get any larger and the swollen body didn't get any slimmer. It just never happened. In fact, the butterfly spent the rest of its life crawling around with a swollen body and small wings. It was never able to fly. What the man in his kindness and haste did not understand was that restricting the cocoon and the struggle required for the butterfly to get through the tiny opening was God's way of forcing fluid from the body of the butterfly into the wings so it would be ready for flight once it achieved the freedom from the cocoon. Sometimes struggle are exactly what we need in our life. If God allowed us to go through life without any obstacles, it would cripple us. We would not be as strong as what we could have been. We could never fly. So think of this, I asked for strength and God gave me difficulties to make me stronger. I asked for wisdom and God gives me problems to solve. I ask for prosperity. God gives me a brain and the ability to work. I ask for courage and God gives me danger to overcome. I ask for love and God gives me troubled people to help. I ask for favors and God gave me opportunities. We often in our prayers receive nothing we ask for, but we do receive everything we need. Let us pray. Most gracious Heavenly Father, open our eyes to see the ways in which you answer our prayers and knowing that you are giving us what we need to grow in your way, to become closer to you and to reach out to the world for you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.